Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. I'm going to do a quick review on this weather station. I've had it for two years and I'm actually pleasantly surprised how well it's been doing. I've got it mounted on a pole and then I just zip tied it to my fence. I know you could probably put a pole in the ground, but that seemed like the easiest solution. It's, it's relatively stable. Okay, so for the top of my head, I know it does rain amount, wind speed, and wind direction. Okay, so I'll show you the remote display in a little bit, but it's got this, um, I think that charges the battery, and then you've got this sensor up here that measures uh, how much light's out there. Now the one problem I did have is spiders do like these things, and actually a spider grabbed a web of this and actually had it in one direction. I didn't even know it until I looked up, so this thing wasn't spinning freely, but like I said, two years, I've not had a bit of problem. The rain gauge is really accurate. And I leave it out here all winter. So one thing I do know is sometimes we live in trees, there'll be a leaf or something caught in here. But something I just learned today is, so if you quarter turn this, it pops open. And I can clean out that debris. It looks like some spiders get in there. But that's that rain bucket. And it needs actually needs cleaned out. Okay, so I cleaned out that little uh, bucket. That bucket fills up and then it tips over and that's how they get an amount of rain but it like I said I've had this two years this is the first time I've had that open and I just wiped it out with a rag uh, there was a few spiders in there but nothing that would hamper it from working so it comes with the standard uh, U bolts that you can attach to a pole um, and it does have this level up here when you install it you want to make sure that bubbles right in the middle mine's moved a little bit okay so I did have to put batteries in there when we first got it um, but like I said, it's been two years and I have not had to change those batteries. Okay, so this thing on the bottom, I'm pretty sure it's probably for temperature and humidity. There's probably a bulb in there, but I've never really had to clean it. Like I said, it's got spider webs around it, but this thing stays relatively clean. Okay, so here's the weather station that's inside, and I want to show you. It's powered off right now. But the back side of it's got these feet that can come out. It takes three AAA batteries. And you can also mount it to the wall. But you're also going to, this power supply comes with it, which you're going to want to plug it in all the time. Because it's really dim if you don't have it powered on. If you're just using the AAA batteries, it's just really dim. I think the AAA batteries are meant more of a battery backup to keep everything. But that's where the uh, power goes. Okay, so here's the display with it plugged in. Okay, so when I was outside, I was pointing out that that one panel that looks like a solar panel. It is a solar panel, so it must keep a small trickle charge on those batteries that are out there. Comes with a really nice install manual and setup manual. I'm not going to be able to show you how to install everything, but it was it was relatively simple. Putting the weather vane on and putting the wind speed thing on, the U-bolts. Okay, here's something I don't remember, but I must have... So you put two AA batteries in the unit outside, and it says the LED indicator on the back of the transmitter will turn on for four seconds, then flash every 16 seconds. Okay, so let's just go over a few simple things. This thing does connect to your Wi-Fi, and that's your Wi-Fi signal strength meter. And this thing also has an RF, so your outdoor temperature and humidity, but this is also how well it's... It's uh, communicating with the outdoor sensor. And of course you got wind speed and wind direction, how much rain. This light, I've never really used that, or the UV index, barometric pressure, and indoor temperature and humidity. It gets it from this actual unit. Okay, so one thing I want to point out is these buttons on the front, they're really sensitive. So you just got to barely press it. What that's going to let you do is going to let you walk through uh, different, like the rain. It's for the week, the month, total so far since I've had this thing installed, rate, an event, and day. And same with the wind. It's going to go through gust and different. So you got to make sure, because you got to make sure you want to leave this on, like what the current wind direction is. Same with the temperature. It's got dew, heat, chill, 
So I've, I've noticed before that I've left it in like dew or chill or something. So you got to make sure you leave it on what you want to see. Okay, so I'm not going to go into every single thing, but this thing is pretty extensive on what it can do. All kinds of alarm limits. Um, and this manual is very detailed. I, I just use it to look at the outside temperature and, you know, it's got a really nice display for wind direction. And the rain is really accurate. I've got a, a standard rain gauge out there and these things are pretty close together. So that's mainly what I use it for. Okay, so this is just a general um, overview of this ambient weather station. I really like it. I've had it for two years. It's worked really well. Never had any problems with it. I'm going to do a second video on connecting it to the internet. It's a little tricky. Um, so if you want to check out my second video, there's some people may not want to see that part of the video. So again, this is just a dad videos. I want to thank you for watching and would you please like and subscribe.